very serious, awful story to start with about a 27-year-old who, who died 19 years ago, was murdered. Her name was Emma Caldwell. And essentially what happened was this, the police just failed utterly in Scotland to get the killer. And everyone was pointing at this guy called Ian Packer saying, it's him. And in the end, he seems to have decided he wanted to clear his name, inverted commas. So he contacted a brilliant BBC reporter in Scotland called Sam Poling and said, can I give an interview to clear my name? And this is the interview she did. No one ever killed her. I knew Emma, yes. I hadn't seen Emma before. Did I kill Emma? No. Did I see her the night she was killed? No one ever. If I go off and investigate everything you've told me... Yeah. Would you be willing to come back? No problem. ..and be interviewed again? Yeah, no problem. ..once I've finished that? Certainly. If I find facts out about you, I'll point the finger at you. Fair do. You know Carry that. on. Carry on. You're aware of that? Absolutely. So, Sam did exactly that. She investigated his story, she looked at all the evidence, she looked at the statements he made at the time, and this guy's it just clearly just telling lies as easily as breathing. So that the second interview happens and she exposes him. You told me you'd never been to the place where Emma's body was found. Absolutely. You've been there many times, according no, to I'm... all the evidence that I've seen. The first woman you took to those woods was Emma. No, it wasn't. You took her six times. No, never. You told the police that. Why would I contact you to do a, 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 a program if I'd done this? Did you kill Emma? No, I never. I could look you in the eye and say, no, I had nothing to do with it whatsoever. I'm not a violent person. Well, there's lots of evidence that, that he is, and he's been convicted now in jail for at least 36 years, but he's been offending ever since that murder, yeah. so the police fell down on a job, maybe because they said Emma was a prostitute and therefore they thought, oh, well, we don't really follow that up properly. And this is Emma's mum, Margaret, talking about the failures. A toxic culture of misogyny and corruption meant that the police failed so many women and girls who came forward to speak against Packer. Instead of receiving justice and compassion, they were humiliated, they were dismissed, and in some instances, they were arrested, whilst the police gifted freedom to an evil predator to rape and to rape again. We now know that Packer carried out rapes, sexual offences and assaults nearly 20 times after Emma's murder in 2005. Margaret believes that officers systematically sabotaged an investigation into Packer for a decade and have blood on their hands. That is powerful, Lynn, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's... When he said he wanted to do this interview to clear his name, I think the opposite. I think he was riddled with guilt and that's why he came forward because he would have clearly gotten away with this if he didn't he do that initial um, interview. And I think it, it stems from that culture of she was asking for it. And I think we, with, with so many prostitutes, they are vulnerable, so we should be looking even, not even more, but it, we shouldn't be looking at any less than any other mm. uh, victim. And well, I think sort of, I thought we'd le learnt all this in the Yorkshire Ripper cases, that there's, you know, you don't put a value on the victim. No. And say, no. look, this person's worth less than that person. But we know that we have a dark history in this country of not properly investigating crimes against women. We know that we've struggled to prosecute grooming gangs. And it is this idea that some people count less than others. Those words, toxic culture of misogyny and corruption that Emma's family believe was going on in the police are deeply shocking. But Equally shocking in a way is that perhaps it's not that surprising. We know we're, we're broadcasting from London. We know the Met have had issues with misogyny and sexism, real issues mm. with that. I mean, the other thing that struck me, by the way, is looking at a human being lying so brazenly. And so that, that's scary. scary, isn't it? And chilling. It is. And also that, I mean, obviously he is a, someone who he hires out women and violently attacks them, knowing that there'll be no comeback. And he, so he used a lot of sex workers, they were vulnerable, and God only knows how many offences he committed since the murder of Emma. That's, that's where Police Scotland have to, have to answer. And well done to Sam Poling, who, who's a Panorama reporter. What a brilliant job she did. Now, Matt...